And then there were two. Who's going to be the champ? Is it going to be the Broncos? Is it going to be the Seahawks? I'm going to tell you right now on 10 Reasons Why Show Sports Edition. What a fantastic weekend. We had some great storylines. We had uh, Brady versus Manning, Russell versus Kaepernick. We had Belichick versus Welker, and we had Sherman versus Bayless, which was fantastic. Look, there are plenty of storylines going into this Super Bowl, but there is none bigger than who's got the edge going into the game. Now, Vegas already has Denver as an early favorite, but does Seattle have a shot? Usually Super Bowls are won with great defense. Unless, of course, you have a legendary gunslinger on the other side of the ball, which in this case is Peyton Manning. And I think it's safe to say that the Broncos have the edge on this part of the game. We're going to do a quick comparison just to show you how much of an edge that is. Peyton Manning's quarterback rating is 97.2, while Russell Wilson has a quarterback rating of 100. Ooh, intrigue. Now, Peyton Manning, on the other hand, has completed 68.3% of all of his passes this year. Russell Wilson completed approximately 63.1%. So edge to Peyton Manning on that. And keep in mind that Manning has thrown a ridiculous amount of times this year and still completed a very, very high percentage. And touchdown edge, not even close. Peyton Manning had 55 touchdowns this season, while Russell Wilson, although very, very nice, had 26 touchdowns. Again, no comparison. Peyton Manning is the touchdown king. Now on the flip side of that, the interceptions are about equal. Peyton Manning has 10, Russell Wilson has nine. Peyton Manning, keep in mind, has thrown a ridiculous amount of passes and doesn't even compare to how many Russell Wilson's tossed up there. So Peyton Manning, good job. So these stats are great. But what does all of it mean? What it means is that the defenses are gonna to have to absolutely be brilliant in order to win this game. So who is better equipped to do that? Let's take a look. Now Seattle's defense was the best in the league all year long, giving up only 273 yards per game. Now compare that to the Denver Broncos who gave up 356 yards per game and you've got yourself a mismatch. The Broncos ranked in the bottom half of the defenses this year, and that could be their downfall. Additionally, Seattle boasts two super studs on their defense. Of course, you have Richard Sherman, who had eight picks and one touchdown this year, but he also has a teammate, Earl Thomas, who has five picks all by himself as well. So you've got two super studs, like I said, who are back there making things crazy for the quarterback to look at. Now Denver has no one in the top 30 in this particular category and their two best players arguably Dominic Rogers Cromartie and Danny Trevathan both combined had six picks and one touchdown so I'm gonna have to give the edge to the Seattle defense they've got some game changers and I think they're going to do some damage in this game. So this is really gonna be a classic matchup between a quarterback and a defense. Peyton Manning versus the Seattle Seahawks. Now, if Peyton can pick apart the Seattle defense, it is probably going to be game over. I just don't see Seattle coming back from a big lead because the Seattle Seahawks averaged more than 10 points less than the Denver Broncos, who, by the way, the Broncos averaged 37 points per game, which was ridiculous. So Sherman and company are gonna have to eat their Wheaties because this could get ugly early. And I hope it doesn't, but it may actually pan out that way. So my prediction, I see Seattle actually coming off really quick and scoring early after a Peyton Manning pick. They're going to go into the halftime with a 13 to seven lead. Now in the third quarter, I do see the Broncos coming back, clawing their way back into the game through a gutsy performance by Noshan Moreno. And by the third quarter, I'm seeing this score as 21 to 16 in favor of the Broncos. Then Peyton Manning turns the gas on after Russell Wilson throws a pick, trying to make a big play. I see this thing ending up 35 to 23 
in favor of the Denver Broncos, and Peyton Manning is going to be the MVP and a winner of a second Lombardi Trophy after the final seconds tick off at Super Bowl 48. And don't worry, Seahawks fans, Richard Sherman's still going to have plenty to talk about, and he's going to take up half the sound bites of what ESPN throws at us after their 12 hours of post-game coverage.